butterscotch bars today. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients. One cup butter. Two cups brown sugar. Two eggs. One tablespoon vanilla. One fourth cup glucose or light corn syrup. Two cups all purpose flour. One half teaspoon salt. One and a half teaspoon baking powder. One third cup of chopped cashew nuts. We will start by melting together the butter and the brown sugar. This is butter. You can also use uh, premium margarine. But butter will have a better mouthfeel and a better taste also. You can also use one half butter and one half premium margarine. And then for the brown sugar, don't pack the brown sugar in the measuring cup. Just scoop and then level. If you weigh it, this is about 400 grams. By melting together butter and brown sugar, you develop the butterscotch flavor. You have to wait until the butter completely melts and the sugar starts to melt too. You stir this so that the uh, butter will not separate from the uh, sugar. I usually heat this until the mixture starts to boil. See, it's starting to boil now, so you can shut this off. Okay? We just want to develop the butterscotch flavor. Okay, let's shut this off and cool this for about 5 minutes. You prepare a 9 by 9 inch square pan or whatever you have which is equivalent to this one. And then you line it with parchment paper. Uh, this is siliconized paper but you can use regular wax paper. Okay. If you don't have paper, you can grease and line, but I still prefer to put paper instead of greasing and lining. Okay? Let's start mixing. I have here two eggs. All right? I have here vanilla. Let's whip this for about two minutes. High speed, about two minutes. After two minutes, I'm going to add in the glucose or you can use uh, corn, light corn syrup. Let's add in the melted butter and the brown sugar. All right. Increase the speed for about 30 seconds, then shut it off. And then we will change with a paddle. The reason we're changing into a paddle because I don't want to incorporate so much air because what happens when there's too much air the butterscotch bars will rise and then it will fall as it cools down. I have here all-purpose flour, salt and baking powder. Mix this together. All right. And then we can just add everything just at low speed because as I said at this point we don't want to incorporate so much air all right this is done once you don't see the flour in the middle that's all right the flour to the sides you can just uh, scrape that make sure it's well mixed at the bottom because this mixture is quite heavy. Alright. 
if you like you can put some of the nuts inside let's say half of the nuts and the remaining half we put on top I'm using cashew nuts some people use uh, peanuts but I like cashew nuts better always push it to the sides the center will just take care of itself okay push it to the sides if you'll notice the mixture is a little bit very is thick you can top this with cashew nuts but I have done this before I top this with chocolate chips so the more common one is the cashew nuts the amount of nuts that you put in is up to you you can put more nuts you can put less nuts or you can make it without nuts as I said you can put some inside and some on top okay I have enough I won't put all of this and then we will put this in a 325 to 350 oven for about 40 minutes or 30 minutes I will show you when it's time to take it out you make sure you don't overcook or over bake all right We'll check this after 30 minutes I have many recipes to share with you if you're interested please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded here let's take this out okay see it's still a little bit soft we don't want to over bake this Okay, let's unmold our butterscotch bars. Alright, and then you divide it into um, any size that you want. If you notice, I'm using a plastic knife. I like the plastic knife because it does not stick. We will score this first. Okay. See, it's very moist inside. This is because of the glucose. Again, let me do this. Once it's baked, you will notice that the um, butterscotch will be very, like, very hard on top, but inside it's very moist. The crust will be quite tough but that's all right see the nice thing of the plastic knife it cuts very clean and it does not stick so we are able to make 36 from this if you want to wrap this okay. by the way this cellophane is a little bit short but I found this is already pre-cut we have this in the kitchen so I just uh, you know made use of it Again, let me wrap another one so it's very nice it's very uh, moist ideally if you want to seal it you have to make a fold like this huh? and then fold the sides like this but as I said um, I found this pre-cut cellophane in the kitchen I think we use this for another uh, recipe I just made use of this just to show you so like this is fine right but if you want to really seal it so it will keep longer you make a fold okay okay here are our butterscotch bars <laughs> 